Hey, hey, I want to chat to you about what to do when you mess up or when things don't go according to plans. Now, I feel like this maybe could be happening a lot for some people, maybe in the new year or maybe you've experienced it in general. Maybe you are experiencing it. Maybe every day there's some sort of bump in the road that you didn't expect. If this has ever happened to you, say yes. Tell me because, of course, this is something that I feel like a lot of people do go through. And we all mess up. We all make mistakes. Or things happen that we don't plan on. Hey, Robbie. <laughs> and I think it's really important how we know what to do when this happens. Now, I could go on and on and on about this, but I want to really, really give you guys like a very simple breakdown of what to do when things go awry or things don't actually happen the way you want them to. I love the love hearts. <laughs> and so here's the thing. First step is to recognize what happened. Hey, Tracy, <laughs> recognize what happened. Second thing, recognize why it happened. Third thing, forgive yourself for it happening. Fourth thing, what is the lesson to be learned? Fifth thing, decide, now that I know what the lesson is that needs to be learned, what action do I need to take in order to move forward and grow from it? And then, the last thing you need to do is, again, just move on. <laughs> if you dwell in it, if you dwell in the negative emotion... You will be stuck there, and you won't actually learn the lesson that needs to be learned in order to move forward. However, if you recognize what happened, why it happened, um, and you recognize forgiving yourself, and then you recognize the lesson to be learned, and you actually move on from your journey, and you decide what it is you have to do now, what action you have to take now in order to move forward, then you will absolutely be able to do so. The problem exists only when... We actually dwell in the negative emotion. No negative emotion can be released until a lesson is learned from it. So when we're fearful, when we're feeling guilty, when we're feeling sad, when we're angry, when we're depressed, all those negative emotions, the only way we can truly release them is by, of course, going through this process, <laughs> recognizing where it's coming from, releasing it through the beliefs, setting new beliefs, figuring out why you feel this way, what caused this to come up. And really truly forgiving yourself and being able to move on by recognizing what the lesson is to be learned. So, um, really want you to consider those six, seven steps I shared in terms of this. Because, honestly, just incorporating those daily. Because we run into these things all the time. And you might be thinking, but it wasn't me. But it was an outside source. But it was not something that I necessarily planned and it just kind of happened. You still have to learn the lesson from it. And it's not like one of those things where it's like, learn your lesson. But it's like, no, actually give yourself the time and the space and the energy to recognize what the lesson is. So go ahead, review those six things. I mean, really, remember, it's recognize what happened, recognize why it happened, recognize, you know, that you forgive yourself for it. Then you need to actually see what the lesson is that you need to learn from it. And then you're asking yourself, what action can I take to move myself forward in my journey? And then the last thing is, move on. <laughs> Just move on. Form new beliefs. You've already released the negative emotion. That's all you have to do. The longer you dwell in it, the more you're going to be stuck there. And the more of that you're going to create. So, <laughs> hey Maggie! So, with that being said, I really hope this is helpful. When you give this a try, when this comes up for you, I really want to hear about it. I want to hear about your experience with this. See how it was. See how it went. See how you liked it. See how it works for you. And it could take some time. It could not. Everybody's different. So, just give yourself the space to truly tap into this and to really, really move yourself forward in your journey just through releasing the negative emotion that comes from messing up or things not going how you want. So I really hope those six steps were helpful. I know that there was a lot of different information thrown in there, and it was pretty quick, but that's really all I need to share. Everybody is going to have their own stories, their own circumstances, their own situations, and the key here is mindset is pretty much broad across the board because no matter what, your situation is always going to be yours. Your life is always going to be yours. Whatever is happening 
through you in your life, it can easily be A, expanded, or B, reduced. That's a choice. It's up to you. So when things go wrong or maybe not as planned, follow these six steps. Let me know how it goes for you. I'm really excited. I think that this can be a very freeing experience for people as it was for me, and it continues to be for me. I think the biggest, biggest step in this is always recognizing what the lesson is. So I hope you have an awesome day, night, morning, wherever you are in the world. Just make it awesome.